in her words. All she could think of at that time was fear and that made her take the action even if she knew better. Hello! Welcome to Cyber Safe with CCNet, where I tell stories and help you understand cyber hygiene best practices in the most relatable way possible. My name is Confidence Davidi, aka CCNet. In today's video, I'll be discussing how to identify a phishing email. If you haven't already subscribed to this channel, please click the subscribe button now for more videos like this. First off, phishing is a fraudulent attempt to obtain sensitive information or data such as usernames, password, credit card details or any other confidential information by disguising oneself as a trusted entity in an email. Phishing is one of the most common methods of cybercrime, but despite how much we think we know or how much we know about scam emails, a lot of people still frequently fall victim. As always, I have a story for you. Sadly, this one is close to home. So we will refer to our victim as Miss B. Miss B said she had received a mail confirming that she had just successfully added a beneficiary to her bank account, but she couldn't recognize the name of the person. Now the mail had particularly interested her because the day prior to the incident, she had tried adding a beneficiary, but didn't get a confirmation that it was successful. The email further required that she clicks on a link to resolve the problem if she didn't add this beneficiary. She immediately panicked, assuming someone had gained access to her account and clicked the link. She only got to realize what she had just done after sending off her banking credentials. In her words, all she could think of at that time was fear and that made her take the action even if she knew better. Now, when Ms. B forwarded the email to me, I did some technical analysis on the email and discovered that while she clicked the harmful link and filled out her information on the fake bank website, a malware category called Remote Access Trojan was installed in the background. Now, Remote Access Trojan in short is called RAT. This type of malware can allow a hacker to control your computing device remotely. Now, once a rat is installed on your computer, the hacker can access files on your computer, steal login credentials and other personal information or use the connection to download viruses you could unwittingly spread along to others. Now, this experience was a wake-up call for her and should be for you too. Ms. B had fallen prey to a well-thought-out phishing mail. Now, phishing emails are easy to spot but could sometimes be tricky. Here are six ways to identify a phishing mail. One, sender's email domain address. No legitimate organization will formally send emails to its customers from an address that ends at gmail.com, not even Google. Take a close look at the sender's email address and ensure the domain is correct. For example, this is not the same as this. Sometimes cyber criminals intentionally misspell the domain name to trick your eyes. A typical example would be this versus this. Tip 2. Generic and unfamiliar greeting. Phishing emails usually begin with generic salutations like dear sir and ma or dear customer instead of addressing the recipient by name. Another sign to watch out for is if the greeting is inconsistent with how the sender has addressed you in the recent past. Tip 3. Presence of poorly written grammar and spelling mistakes. Phishing mails and grammatical errors are almost inseparable. An email with spelling mistakes and poor grammar is a sure sign that it is not from a professional source and is most likely the handiwork of scammers. While this on its own is not a clear indicator, it should be taken seriously, especially when accompanied by other signs. Tip 4. Presence of suspicious links. Sometimes cyber criminals use link shorteners to hide harmful links. Other times, they use what may appear to be the correct link to mask the real destination website the link in the mail points to. My advice is to avoid clicking on links in mails, but instead, 
hovering your mouse over it to reveal its real destination or using the check URL to lengthen it if it is a shortened URL. Tip 5. Presence of suspicious attachments. Cyber criminals sometimes include attachments in emails as part of the method to infect their target computing device. Now look out for attachments with suspicious file types and extensions such as .exe, .scr, .zip and sometimes .pdfs can be a bit fishy. Do not download any document without scanning for viruses using a service such as www.virustotal.com. Tip 6. The use of fear, urgency, outrageous claims and unusual requests. Phishing emails are tailored to communicate a sense of fear or urgency. This may be contained in the subject line or body of the email. A typical example will be the case of Ms. B, the lady in our story today. The aim of this kind of emails is to make sure you get rattled and take action without thinking. So when next you receive that mail making outrageous offers or claims, requesting for something unusual or trying to make you panic, pause, give it some thought and look out for the red flags we have just discussed in this video. Just like you take time to look at both sides of the road before crossing, look really carefully before taking action in any email. Make you no go for my girl.